Welcome to this EdReach screencast. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at Google Plus and specifically the stream. So here I am logged into my Google Plus account. When you're at your home area, this is considered the stream. This is where any messages, uh, you will see any messages that are posted by people that are in any of your circles. The nice thing about this is you can look at your stream based on the circles you have created. So in a previous screencast I showed how to make circles. Those circles show up over here on the left side and, and it just shows the first five or so. If I click more I can actually see all of the different circles that I've created. So let's say I only want to look at information posted by people from my Google Certified Teacher group that I created, my circle. If I click on circle for GCT, this is now only people that are in that circle. So this is a great way to filter information. Uh, let's say I only want, I'm interested right now in what my uh, friends have been doing. If I click on friends, this will just show messages from the people that are in my friends circle. So again, a great way to, to filter that information. When you want to post something, if you're looking at a specific circle and you go to post, it'll default in this little box down below, it'll default to only post to that circle. So it says here that if I type a message, only the people in, in my friends circle will see that. Let's go back to the overall stream. When I go to type a message, let's say, here's a great Google tip for the day. Let's say I only want to publish this to my Google Certified Teacher circle. This box down here, you can click on whatever circle it's showing. Right now it's showing public. This means this would be searchable online. This would go out to anyone who would be looking for this information. Uh, if I click the little X, that'll take that out of the, uh, of the people that I want to share that with. And it says here, add circles or people to share with. You can either add people here individually. So if I click, I could type, start typing someone's name. So if I wanted to type... Uh, person's name that, that I want this to go specifically to, I could choose that so only that person would see the message. Or if I wanted to add my group, I could type or choose from the list for what circle should see this message. So I'm going to send this out just to the Google Certified Teacher group. With your post, you can also add a photo by clicking the little uh, camera button over here. You can add a video. You can also add a link, so if you wanted to share a link to something else on the web, or you can add your location. So again, here's how you create your posts that go out into the stream. You can choose who the who should see those posts, and uh, that is that is how the stream works. Another feature built into the stream is when you look at a specific post uh, in the top right hand corner, there is a little drop down uh, arrow. And if it's a post that's not yours, when you click on that, if you see a post that that is abusive in any way, you can report abuse. Uh, you can mute the post, so say you're following someone and a post just gets ridiculously out of hand and you're not interested in seeing that post anymore for whatever reason, you just don't want to see it. If you mute that post, it, it takes it out of your stream. Uh, you can also block someone from using this little arrow, so if it's someone that is in one of your circles and you're just not interested in, in seeing that person's information anymore, if you choose block, that'll add them to the block circle and you will not see their information. If you come upon a post that is yours and you click that little arrow, you get a few more choices. You can go back and edit a post. So I wrote this post yesterday. Let's say I made a spelling error or such. Uh, if I click edit this post, that'll take me back in so I can actually edit and then save that message when I'm done. I could delete the post. Um, if I wrote something that I just didn't want out there anymore, I could click delete and that would get rid of the post as well. Um, I can report or remove comments for a post that is mine. I can disable comments, so for whatever reason, let's say I don't want someone to um, to be able to comment on it. I just want to share something, but I don't want comments. I could choose to disable comments. I can also disable reshare. One of the nice things about a post uh, is that you can, when you're looking at someone's post, if I think, wow, this is a great idea, I'd like to share this with someone else. If I click on share, then it allows me to share that post with others and I can share that to any circle that I want. If I, for whatever reason, want to keep that information unshareable, I can choose to disable reshare so that that post cannot be reshared by anyone. So that's a little bit about the stream. Uh, things will be continued to be improved upon, and, and uh, new features will probably be added. Thanks so much for watching.